Hey guys, welcome to Stitching It. Hey guys. My name is Stephanie, and today I'm going to be doing a whip parade where I've got all of my cross stitch projects out and I'm going to show them to you one by one. Uh -huh. And what's really fun today is I have got my husband back with me. Hello, That's hello. Nigel. And he is going to be um, giving his opinion and to letting me know what he thinks about all my projects, you know, just as a way of a fun way for us to plan and think about how things are going. So, um, yes, I'm first glad to up, be here. <laughs> thank you, Nigel. Um, we're gonna get going on my long dog samplers. Those are my favorite. Mm. I love um, any long dog sampler, so I'm put them all together. I like the bag. Where'd you get that? That is from Allegro Stitches, and it's called a kitted up pouch. And I do have several of those bags. They're really convenient for being so small. Mm. But the first project I'm going to be showing is called uh, Live and Let Live. And it's one of her newest projects. And I'm doing it on 36 count with the call for gentle threads, okay. gentle arts threads. So, um, yes, I love this one. I put it out first because I can't wait to finish it. I was even thinking about sending it to the uh, Gwinnett County Fair this year. Wow. Are so, they having it this year? They are having it, um, and they're accepting exhibits, and they're due in September. So I've got till September to finish it if, if that plan is. But um, it's going pretty well. I mean, it's not that Look big. Look at that green. You know, green's my favorite color. Yeah. It's and got it's two some greens. Really pretty bright greens um, in that project. Wow. So. Okay. Nice. I like it. Okay, so I think this is going to be quilts, okay. which um, I've had for quilts. a couple years now. And I remember quilts. Yeah, I like to stitch on it mostly in the fall and the winter because it's got like these real rich tones, like jewel tones and, you know, it's not real spring colors or anything, you know. It's a farm scene, a, sort of a village scene down there, and it's it's got... I like the motif. Yeah. It looks like someplace I'd like to be. Yeah, it's based on actually like Pennsylvania Dutch samplers, oh, okay. actually. The designer, Long Dog Samplers, you know, Julia Line, right. is English, but she has a variety of um, styles of samplers. So wow. so when I show you these next... Um, is the street laced with stars? <laughs> yeah, stars and hearts, yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> and quilts. There's some quilts hanging on lines at the bottom of that. Mm. So it's cute. I like that one. Me too. Oh, what do Ooh, we have here? Well, that's Game of Swans. Wow. Which, um, Are you serious? Game, Game of Swans? <laughs> yeah. I think she put it out when Game of Thrones was oh, popular, cool. but it cool. doesn't really have anything. A game, I was trying to think, because a Game of Swans is wow, a group. Look at that. A group of swans. Oh, okay. You know, it's not a flock or a herd it's like a game it's a game of swans. yeah i think okay. if i remember correctly but the that one's As we try so to focus. pretty i know oh, the there cameras. We go. wow look at that big flower at the bottom i like that well thank you i love this fabric it's called tea leaves mm. and it's one of the first color and cotton um pieces of fabric i ever had now i don't i've made i have to admit there's um a couple mistakes in that one which have slowed me down uh -oh. And that's one of the reasons I stopped working on it as much because I just got self-conscious about it. And like I said, it's 32 count, which I don't like as much as 36 count with one strand. Right. Okay. So. That's a nice one. We have, we've been hiding all these amazing whips. <laughs> oh, look at that. Around the house. Is that a moon? Um, it's, okay, this is called the new normal. And wow. it was supposed to be, she did it after the, the pandemic. Wow. It's relatively that. recent. Is that a blue? That looks Yeah, amazing. that's that blue in that. And wow. they're all like, all these different animals in these different bubbles. Mm. Like, ger you know, we're in our own germ bubbles. You know, right. Germ bubbles, This wow. is the new normal. So that was the, the inspiration behind it. I understand. But I'm picking my own colors on this one. Tell me about the fabric. Oh, man. It's pretty, isn't it? It's it is pretty. called Serene by Picture This Plus, and it's 36 count. So I'm using one strand of those various colors I picked out, and I'm about a page in, a little over a page. Nice. So, um, wow, look at it. It looks almost like a turquoise. Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful and like a like tropical, water. you know, tropical yeah. water or something. Wow. 
But, um, yeah. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, House of Peacocks. Wow. This is on 40 count. So, 40 count makes it smaller. It's, right. That's about, like, the smallest fabric. Well, I do have 22 count and 25 count, I guess. But, wow. um, 40 count fabric uh, is the smallest I can comfortably stitch on. And I say comfortably in a nice way. But, so this one isn't too big. This is, a like I said, another long dog sampler. And, um, yeah. It's just pretty. It's one of her newer ones. It's super pretty. I mean, it's a house with peacock, peacock tails in, yeah, the peacocks around it. in the background. Like, wow, that's where I want to live. I know. <laughs> house of Peacocks. Ooh. Ooh. This is Pilgrim's Prog... Oh, no, not Pilgrim's Progress. I think it's called The Pilgrim. Um, but you have you ever heard of that book called... Pilgrim's Progress. Well, tell me about it. By, like, John Bunyan. I'm talking about, like, this was, like, 1500 or 1600. Right. Really old book, but very famous, um, that talks about the journey of a, a soul, basically. And this sampler depicts that book, like, the scenes of the book. But wow. it, it, other than that, it looks like a really phantasmical, just amazing, like, it's got these... You made up a word. I did? Yeah, phantasmical. That's not a word? I mean, I don't know. Oh, ooh, look at this one. Talk about Your favorite fans, one. Phantasmical. Yeah, Tabasco. <laughs> so this is a really <laughs> unique one. It's called Tabasco. Yeah, you had me at Tabasco. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, he, you picked this one out when I originally started. And it's on 32 count black linen. which it's traumatic. It's traumatic. Is that what you said? I said dramatic. Dramatic. Yeah, it's dramatic, <laughs> but I'm saying it's hard as... You know what I'm saying. It's hard wow. to be able to see those threads and it's very but anyway tabasco is supposed I to be like a, this one a mexican or a new world sampler i told you it reminded me of a black light yeah uh, yeah see? you did like one of those 70s black light yeah. posters oh you gotta get back at that one i like that one a lot i will eventually know when i've seen your reaction to yeah, it tabasco. okay so that was my last long dog sampler these are just pieces in no particular order of oh Quaker piece. I remember Quaker. Yeah, bygone stitches. That one's really pretty. Um, it's mostly in two colors, although mm -hmm. I'm going to add some pops of colors in there. I don't know if you can see it, but once you finish it, it has the whole entire design, and then you can see a second design in a different color of a big old peace sign. Really? Does that make sense to you? It's does it like, look like that? Um, yeah, it does. does. Sort of like this one? Yeah, well, yeah, exactly like that, except this is where it goes around, and it's that dark magenta color. Wow. And then the other dark purple color is, like, the background. And who, who designed it? Uh, bygone Stitches. Wow, that was pretty creative to do. I'd yeah. like to see that finished. Yeah, me too. And it's on 22 count hard hanger, I didn't say. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not that big dimensionally. And I think it's six pages, so it shouldn't take that long. Hmm. Six mm. pages sounds like a long project. Mm. Okay, so this is Berry Bowl Sampler. And I'm actually doing this as a project with um, with one of the, my local Georgia Stitcher friends. Cool. And so that's why I picked, I, after I saw this, I'm going to pick it out to work on it and try to finish it. Because if that's like the whole first half. And it's literally bowl, berry bowls. It's nothing but berry bowls. <laughs> and you're supposed to stitch half. Smurf and then berries. you're... Your partner is supposed to stitch the other half, and then you exchange wow. your halves, and then who's you, your partner? Deborah. Deborah whom? Moon. Yeah. Okay. Cool. See, yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really it's been like a Deborah, year you're going or two. In my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like a year or two. I don't remember since it came out, and I just was like, oh, this is such a pretty piece for the summer. And if I just finish it up, so I need Where's to get. Where's Deborah on hers? Do you know? I don't know. I uh, have to ask her. I'm afraid she's probably you call finished. She's like done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm afraid of that too. So, let's see. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, these are cute, and they're not actual. You've never seen these before. I bought them, mm. and I sort How of kitted them so? up. With there's the there's the threads. So. <laughs> And I just picked out some random fabric. Let me see where it is. I think it's 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, so it's just white Ada. With the, uh, no, car. I picked it out from other just stuff I had. But oh. it, see, it's like laundry, a laundry theme. And that's the start I have on it. But up to three different projects. I just thought if, if I ever decorate our the laundry, laundry room, room and con- to go with our new cross-stitch. washing machine. I know. Um, We're excited about that. When, since when do you hear dad excited about a wash? I guess. <sighs> If you like the older it, you I get. like it. Yeah. <laughs> we did get a new washing machine recently, so um, it would be neat to to really spruce up the 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 laundry room with those cross stitches at some point. But oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I have no idea what's... I didn't pull these out in any order. I was just... I put all, with, you know, just as long as I wanted to finish it and would finish it. Oh, okay. This is a... A project by Arlene Cohen and this is on 40 count fabric this is one of the wow. first pieces I started on 40 count fabric wow. but it's called elegant pumpkin bowl and it's from a just cross stitch magazine a couple years ago and I'm just using random flosses that I had in my collection um, it's on a scrap of under the sea fabric under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's gorgeous. I wish I would have gotten a close up of that one. Um, but those are I like are all the cut. Good. I like I like the dimensions of the fabric. Yeah, it's pretty small. It's not too big, but like I said, it's pretty intricate. That design is the same, you know, in all four corners, and and that's what Arlene Cohen does a lot of times when she um, she likes to do geometric designs that are really really like all the way around was symmetrical or anything so you're stitching the same thing in all four quadrants sometimes wow you know it's it's very painstaking and very patient um but i love that piece so i really do want to finish it it would make a cute little pillow or something like that hmm. so I mean, hopefully i'll get that out this fall to work on whoa Ooh, bathroom rules <laughs> From the laundry room to the back. Yes. I guess I should have put them together. But this was a really cute pattern not too long ago that came out. Um, I think it's by White Raven Patterns on Etsy. And I'm just doing it in black. Oh, well, I got rid of that one fast. (laughs) It's on coffee dyed linen that I did. I know. (laughs) In and out. Wash your hands, guys. Please, please. (laughs) It's really cute. I would just hang it up in the bathroom, obviously, and they could read it. Read the rules. Hang it up right across in the toilet. You know? I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, this one? Blue Buddha. Yes, I rescued this one from the UFO pile. It was a UFO. Wow, it almost got taken away by yes, the UFO. Yes, but I, you know, it was a PDF that I bought off Etsy several years ago. I remember, this, trust me. And um, anyway, I... I turned around and tried to get it to work in Pattern Keeper last year, and it did. Mm-hmm. So it's in Pattern Keeper now. So I'm convinced that I can finish it. Wow. It's a full coverage piece. So on 18 Count Ada, you can see I did one complete. That's called Extreme Cross Country Stitching, where you do <laughs> one color the entire piece. Wow. And then you go back and you do. It almost you looks start like filling a negative. It in. Yeah. But there was that many stitches. It was like seven or 8,000 stitches of that one color. Wow. But it's got a framework for me, so I can fill in. I'm not going to miscount. It's all right, as far as I know. So I've got it in Pattern Keeper, and I do want to finish it up at some point. So wow. that's it. It imported well, no issue into uh, Pattern Keeper? Not as far as I know. Okay. Now, i got to somehow mark off my progress right. that I've done, but it's no big deal, like I said. Oh, okay, this is one I've had for a really... For a pretty long time it's by Leela's studio and it's a blessing I don't know if you can read it from there bless us O Lord um, and these gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty and joy anyway my my grandfather used to say this blessing over the table on like say formal it. occasions say it. I don't really have it memorized and it's covered up and he would mostly mumble it anyway oh, okay. <laughs> when he was saying it um, <laughs> But it reminds me of my Speak grandparents. Up, granddad. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing it one over one on 28 counts, so it's pretty teeny tiny. I like it. But um, is that a crow in the lower left hand? It's corner? like a bluebird, I think, okay. or it could be a raven, but it looks more like a bluebird or mm. blackbird, maybe. Okay. You know, not not a raven with the long beak. Right. 
So. Cool. Yeah, it's a really pretty one. I think it was the first, one of the first um, projects I ever bought specialty threads for. Like those color, classic color works ones. Right. Oh. Pizza and tacos. Pizza. I've done the pizza <laughs> one. The pizza is over, you can see it right there on the on the refrigerator. Pizza, pizza. Yes, I do. Yeah. I can see it. From so here. all that's left of this particular um, group, it, it's like done on canvas. You do it on plastic canvas and they turn into magnets. Oh. So I got the taco left. So I'm Let's I'm eventually going to pull it out and show you. I don't know what. But I grouped it together with another of these plastic canvas um, magnets. These came from my bobbin. Dot com. They oh. have a lot of, apparently they're popular little kits to do on plastic Ooh, canvas. Is that the beginning of the taco? Yes, that's the taco. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also have another one in there, if I get around to pulling it out, that is like whiskey bottles. And what? there's a beer bottle. I was going to do magnets? it for my sisters. Yeah, they're magnets. See? Look. Oh, they like that. Yeah, do it for my sisters. There's a vodka bottle. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Um, just for their their little personal home bars or something. You know, right. I thought it'd be um, Kevin and Melissa like beer a lot. <laughs> craft, <laughs> craft beers, yeah. Oh, cool. So that's just my start on that. <laughs> they're gonna hear this and say what? No, no. they're not gonna watch this. <laughs> Oh, this next project has been giving me anxiety sometimes. Oh, I love it. It's gorgeous with the board, the Bargello on the outside, but that acorn where I started it in the middle, those diagonal bands right. on, on the body of the acorn are all misplaced. Oh, that and is I an acorn, need to, so. yeah, it's a nice acorn. fall project. You know, it's not too big. The original was supposed to be stitched on 40 count with silk threads, and I'm doing it on 32 count, so it's bigger, um, with cotton. What made cotton. you decide to change it? Well, I didn't have 40 count fabric at that time, and then also it's just much smaller and easier. Now, I was going through these threads, and I must have picked through them, and because I could not find the green thread that I used in that one. So that might cause me some problems, but I don't oh. know what the fate of this one will be, because it's beautiful. But I've got a frog that whole, um, that body of that unicorn, unicorn. The fate of the acorn. Yes. Swings in the balance. Yes. I don't want to get rid of it, but, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> mm, that one's interesting. It's a good fall pattern. Yeah. Something's about to come on. Is Hitchcockian in suspense? Yeah. You look Ooh. at the shadow. Oh, room. I love this one. It's Four cool. elements. But I just found, last time I worked on it, I found a mistake. Mm. In the border. I don't know if it's in oh, the border. I haven't figured out where it is yet. But it's mm. not lining up. See, I got wow. a lot of work oh, I remember on it. this yeah. one. Yeah. I like it because it's patchwork. I love that. Yeah, it kind of does have a patchwork look to it. Wow. But something about that bottom, it didn't line up with that wave, uh -huh. that golden wave at the bottom. Right. And I haven't figured it out yet. But I don't want to mess it up because I love this one. Yeah. It's so pretty. I've got all the threads I need. Wow. So. Don't mess up the golden wave. It looks, I like it. I like it too. I want to pair pants like that. <laughs> it's on a whimsical winter. Okay. From under the sea fabrics. Yeah. Under the sea fabrics are doing her thing, huh? Yeah, she's she's got a lot of good fabric. Of course, I'm I'm slightly obsessed with my color in cotton. That fabric slightly. is like slightly. Yes, I mean I love getting that order just, every just month. Just slightly obsessed. Slightly obsessed. <laughs> Can one be slightly obsessed? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this one's lingering. It doesn't want to go away. <laughs> I know. I was probably looking at it and trying to figure out what was wrong it's with like, it. That was that signs of slight obsession. Mm. 
Okay, mm. this is Lucy Calcutt. Do you remember when we were talking do. about Come Lucy on, yeah. Calcutt? Of course I do. It's actually two Lucy Calcutts at this point. Right. And they're like my only reproduction samplers that I do have. And I like them because it's the, by the same girl who did one in 1825 and she did another one in 1826. Mm. And they're kind of quirky and, um, you know, they're done by a young girl originally. So this is 1825, the first one, and I've basically only done border on it. Mm -hmm. But um, it's really confusing for me how to get into the motifs. Like, where's the entry? If you start at the border, where do you enter and start getting into the motifs? Mm. So I was thinking about stitching it all the way to the bottom, the border, and then going up from the bottom of that house. Is it a house or a hotel? It's a <laughs> it lot looks of windows. Like a hotel in the second one. The first one's a little Whoever bit smaller. Whoever hopefully they do. But that. that first one is on 36 count fabric with two strands. And then later on, I started the second one. It's just a start. Wow, that's it's good. on 40 count because it's a bigger sampler. Um, what is that sitting on top of that? It's just, it a... it's just a little colorful bird. Oh, okay. Those are usually the things that catch my attention first, the, the animal motifs. Mm hmm. Who's the fabric by again? Color and cotton. Color and cotton, okay. Yeah, it was one of the first pieces I got in their um, fabric club when I, when I joined it last year, so. Nice. What are the yeah. plans for these two? Well, I don't have plans, but that's all the floss that needed to complete <laughs> oh, it. So it's a whole big bag of DMC, but yeah. I love the colors in them. It's just like some bright colors, some pinks, and reds and greens and you know even some blues you know just like you think about a, a little girl she's coloring like a she would pick out colors to color with but she's doing it with thread right you know so that's what's charming about it to me i like it thank you but i'm not interested in like acquiring a bunch of other reproduction samplers mm. it, it's interesting to play with and remember about Maybe trying to think about the girl or the girls who completed them, but just that style of reproduction stampler, I don't think that's that's I don't think that's my calling. I understand. So, Ooh. this is a Riolis kit. I remember this. It's one. a very nice kit because it comes with Zweigart Ada, which Zweigart. is nice. Yes, and it has anchor cotton floss. So wow. that's where I'm at. Just in the middle of a like a. <laughs> Rainforest or something? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. What color is that, is that fabric? I don't know the, the name of it, but that's all the threads. See, they come on these little cards, right. the Riolis kits, so they're already, you don't have to bobinate them or mm. buy separate floss, you know. So they're pretty convenient. Um, I mean, more convenient. I like them better than those, those sticky thread card keeps that the Dimensions kits come on, mm. you know. Riolis has makes some really nice kits. I don't have that many, but um, yeah. I like that one. Me too. I got a big one coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Drums, what, please. What could possibly be next? Oh, I'm wasting it. I can see. The <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, oh. this one. This one, I almost wow. want to put a picture of it up there so you can see what it looks like. It's you called should. Elegant Christmas Tree. Mm. And I, as far as I know, like when you hear the word elegant in a title, mm. it's code word for really effing hard. That's wow. what it means, oh, no. okay? You gotta this, put a bleep. You this gotta put a bleep is so gorgeous. Them. This tree is so gorgeous. It is. Um, but it's so intricate. And there's metallics in it. And quarter stitches, fractional stitches, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not in pattern keep or anything like that. But to me, when I see that, when I saw that tree, um, that's just a part of it that in, in that background part. The price of elegance. Yeah, the price of elegance. <laughs> um, it just looks like just the, the, you know, okay, the absolute perfect Christmas tree. Okay, so I tried to put these together because they're Ooh, spooky, seasonal. Spooky, they're like, spooky. yeah, I'm going to finish this one this year. This is by Stony Creek. I've got all the materials. I mean, I'm almost done with it. Look how close I am. Uh, I like this one a lot. 
Yeah, and I've got a hanging hanging uh banner like wire black wire banner hanger mm -hmm. to turn it into a decoration and to hang it up somewhere in here in, in the time fall. For Halloween. Yes, yeah, so I tell me to get that out before September so I can make oh, sure. Halloween. Yeah, would nice. it would be nice. It would be nice. So. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I know. I love this pattern. <laughs> it's from Southern Roots. There's a few other. I have a couple other patterns James. from this. I know. They're so cute. She's just hugging that kitty. <laughs> it reminds me of Danielle. But I, I got it on um, 36 Count Murmur from Picture This Plus, and which is just a really, really, you know, the, it shows it on that yellow fabric sort of. It's not really... It's just have a watercolor. Have you been doing this re recently? It's sitting on a grind card. Yes, it's on a... <laughs> uh, it's, it's been upstairs and I've worked on it a little bit just starting it. Okay. But um those are those pinks are some of her dress colors. I like that a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to keep her on the cue snap probably through the summer and see if I can get some more progress She's on nice. her cuz that's I like really that. really nice. I like to see that in the frame. Yeah. Little frame. How I would big do it for Danielle. It? It well, it's going to fit on that cue snap. It's just an oh, yeah. uh well. I'm not going to have to move it. Okay. So. That's a nice one. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I, they just gave me that bag at the EGA this for rejoining at the last meeting. I like so, that I yeah, like I just had to show it off together. for a second. I don't <laughs> it just made a quick cameo. But this is, I just put it in this project in that bag. Because it didn't have one yet. But um, this is actually going to be a Riolis kit. I remember now. Um, uh -huh. Another Riolis kit. But what's neat about this one. Wow. It's from a painting by Gustav Klimt. Wow. So it's an actual piece of art. Right. You know. Um, but this when did is. did Gustav Klimt do that? Probably the early 20th century. I don't know. Okay. Wow. But the threads are not cotton, as most of my threads are. Right. They're like wool acrylic blend. So they're sort of fluffier, and I have more... I don't know, they're really soft, and I tried it out because I wanted to try this different type of blend. Mm. Um, the threads, you know, but... Um, and it's not on... I don't know if it's Zweigart Ada for this one. This but, is on a grime guard. The other one was on a Q-snap. Yeah, this one has. Okay. Yeah, the grime guard goes over the Q snap. Okay. Okay. So, um, yes. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm just I started in the middle. I'm trained well. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> so anyway, I love this one. It's it. I I just wanted to try out those threads and see how I like them, and they're fine. I guess I just don't know. You know it. I don't have any plans for it. This is another one I got from mybobbin.com. Yeah, I like that one, though. Mm -hmm. Again, it reminds me of Danielle, you know, or whoever's. Mm -hmm. They're so innocent when they're little. Right. Like that. <laughs> for five minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. I, this, I lost this project for almost six months. And I recently found it, and I'm almost over halfway done with it. And this is like, I'm picking it out to try to finish this. This is um, Owl Forest Embroidery. It's called Southern Land, and it's only four colors, and so that makes it pretty, you know, less stress. You know, it's only four colors, mm -hmm. like I said. But there's just so many details in the in the beautiful um, motifs and everything that there's a lot of interest. And I'm doing this on 36 count light mocha from Zweigart. That's like the only that DMC right I'm using. That's 930, the classic blue. Wow. And then the others are the the um the called for owl force embroidery threads that I that I already had. So and I love mm. it. I love that piece. It's gonna be a finish. It's gonna be on the wall. Wow. This year. 2021. Why do you love it so? Um, well, it reminds me, you know, it's a Russian piece mm -hmm. and it's got Russian motifs on it, you know, but it's called Southern Land. OK. And to me, that immediately put just different thoughts into my mind about the southern part of the United States. And wow. it's kind of red and blue, patriotic looking. 
So anyway, this is just a start. Uh, I put two projects here real quick together. We're probably going to get quicker as we go along. Okay. But um, this is a start on Home Sweet Home. I'll put a picture of that one up. It's on the Silk Stitching app by Vivian Powers. And um, it just looks like this vintage Home Sweet Home sampler. Right. But it's all in black. And then I've got another project in the same bag that's black, all monochrome from cross stitch row on Etsy. Mm. And that is, it doesn't even have a name. It's like, it was just it had its description as the name. So it's like birds in a tree is what I call it. Oh, okay. And it's just this big tree, but with birds sitting in it and flying around. Oh, okay. It's really pretty. Oh, Disturb Us Lord by My Big Toe Design. <laughs> and this is the one that's the, the very long prayer. Right. That's like this prayer of St. Francis Drake and the whole thing is stitched. And it's a very powerful prayer. I wish I could mm. read it to you. I don't know if I've read it to you before. But um, it's got some really pretty um, just wavy um, designs near the bottom to, to break up. And all these colors, they're just... Really pretty variations on brownish, reddish, greenish, goldish, you know. Um, nothing, it's it's kind of muted. Um, yeah, and this was also one of the first pieces I started on 40 count after I joined that Color and Cotton Club. Mm. And I love that piece. I I'm like going, the idea of being disturbed by big. the Lord. Yes, disturb us, Lord. When That's we the type are of disturbance. Too pleased with ourselves. When we have, I don't remember the rest of the word, but I mean it. Wow. If you think about what those words that you're asking to to shake to be shaken, I am be, presently disturbed. Yes, be disturbed. Trust me. Uh, hey. Wow, we welcome that disturbance. Something is lingering there. Yeah, something we're about in the to, Okay. Wow. Oh, Renaissance mermaid. I know. I've had her for a while, and I <laughs> did. I'm picking this out to finish. Not finish. Maybe. But to work on it this summer because that's what it's such a summary. If you can't work on a mermaid during the summer, <laughs> talk about being disturbed. <laughs> yeah. But she's so pretty. This is called Renaissance Mermaid, and oh, it's based on the the styling of this mermaid is based on I don't know Birth of Venus or something. One of these old um, Botticelli style Renaissance paintings of mm. you know. Venus rising, for, I don't know what it is, you know, it's something, I'd have to look it up, exactly, but she's gorgeous, I got all the silks, I got all the beads, I got all the crinic, you know, so, um, and I really do like that, that, uh, fabric, too, it, it's called Hyacinth, I bought it at a stitch retreat, I think it was from Black Cauldron, I always like that name, Hyacinth, it's a yeah. flower, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a flower, and it has... That fabric has a little bit purple tint to it. Like a hyacinth? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. So the mermaid, you know, she's mostly green and blue. Ooh, and she's Those bedazzled. Do, yeah, she's going to be. <laughs> if I can ever poor, figure that poor out. Because I'm telling you what, those mirabilias, they give me, I'm talking about, they've got these big fold out patterns that are all one page. And it's just confusing to me. But it can't be that confusing because I've done like half of her. Right. Have you? <laughs> yes. So apparently I'm not that confused by it, but I want to take her to the finish. It's pretty, pretty, um, pretty, <laughs> no Kylie. Pretty, pretty, pretty fabric. I like that blue. Is it supposed to be like water? Yeah. Wow, yeah, it is. pretty, really pretty. I'm like she's floating in the, in the ocean. Wow. Enticing <laughs> sailors who are just not ready for it. <laughs> Oh, well, this is my other Mirabilia. And she's a little bit smaller, so it's not that big. But she's called Lady Justice. Wow. That's all the floss and everything right there. I don't know if she has any That's beads That's pretty poignant. Lady Justice came right after the uh Well, they're the both mermaid. Mirabilias, but <laughs> Lady Justice, you know, 
But I'm going to do a skin conversion for her. Because I remember the last time I took her out was when Gary from the Sunshine Stitchers was stitching her. Right. And he finished her in like a week or two. I mean, what? it was... I, I didn't even have time to get mine on the Q-snaps. But he did this beautiful dark skin conversion. Right. And he shared it too. And I don't know if I'll do the exact same one. Mm. But I definitely want to do a darker skin tone than just the standard... Uh, all the mirabilias mm -hmm. are very pale skin most of the time, you know. Yeah. So. It's cool to have a little uh, diversity. Yes, diversity in mirabilias would be wow. very nice. Uh, diversity in mermaids, you know. Oh, yeah. Because they've got all those mermaids for mirabilias. So if you do some in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> diversity in mermaids. Yeah. <laughs> Take your pick. Oh, this is one of my Lindy Stitches pieces that I started last year. And that piece, I'm, I mean, again, I'm over 50% done. So. I know this one well. Mm hmm. It's really, really cute. And I'm doing it on 40 count. And um, I've done the main part. The hardest part was that skirt, you know, and then there's just some stuff around. I want to do the boots. But what tripped me up uh, last time is I got to remove that little part of lace that's over on the bottom left part of the skirt. I can kind of see that. It's just not bright enough. I need to go back in a brighter white floss color so it, you know, looks better. So hmm. that's all. But I think my next, uh, my other Lindy Stitches piece is going to be next. Um, and it's a fall one. It's remember uh, the Dracula piece that the I started Dracula. last year? Yeah, it's got a quote from Dracula on it. And I was listening to to the audio book when I was working on it last year. Obviously, I didn't listen to it enough because I didn't finish it. But isn't that fabric wild? That is wild. Yeah, it's called Anubis. Wow. Under the sea fabrics. Anubis is a Greek god. No, no an Egyptian uh, god. Yeah. Yep. I think it's the god of the underworld, isn't he? Or is that... Sounds familiar. I don't remember. Who knows? They got gods <laughs> for everything. So, Sounds um, he's got a dog head, doesn't he? Yes, he got a dog head. Um, but it's there's all the wow, threads. Look at that. That's that silk. Like, that looks like a lock of my hair. You just put yeah. That <laughs> and then that's some more silk, uh, nice. black silk. So I've got all the threads for it. That's and it's not got. the big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that's the dimensions right there so it's not that, that is, big i mean think about the dye job on that i love that mm -hmm. i love that fabric it looks and like those. old old leather or something yeah. like that uh -huh. it's almost too much for the camera you can kind of see yeah. like this rainbow kind oh, of i didn't even, I can't see even that read it close. Yeah. yeah wow it's too complex for the camera i like it wow how do you follow that one up <laughs> <laughs> i don't know we'll see anubis anubis do you remember that song from the Prince of Egypt that was like, you're playing with the big boys now? Yes, I do. That's what, uh, it, whenever I hear anybody say, Anubis, I'll, uh, there's this chanting part in the middle where he starts naming all these gods. <laughs> um, anyway, that's, that's a little bit. That's my I love the Prince of Egypt. I uh, know, uh, it's a great movie. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is a sampler by... Um, Barbara Anna okay. called the fall and it's got the whole text up there when it's finished we'll have the whole text of the fall you know in the Bible where it literally it describes this you know the fall of mankind Wow um, all in wording there now the top part has I, I might have to put a picture of this up on the top uh, I mean on the screen because you don't even know what, what it is. But it's got all these, you can't even see the colors, really. But it's got all these fabulous colors, brown, blue, teal. Um, and then there's like a big horse and a big cow with a um, one of those tree of knowledge things. Mm. I don't so know. So is this a card it's, it, This is a Barbara Anna design. It's only the Barbara Anna. And she's really got really funky, weird kind of just... Fantasmical design. Thank you for being so funky and fast. Yes, fantastic. Barbara Ann is pretty funky. <laughs> but it looks like a reproduction sampler, but it's not actually. Mm. Okay, it's heartstring samplery. This is another Bible quote um, from 1 Corinthians, I think. 
and it's just straight up. That's all it is is quote from the Bible, and it's one over one on thirty two counts. So that's the dimensions. And again, I'm halfway or more, so it's not that hard because it's on one over one on thirty two count, but because it's text and it's like measured basically, it's mm -hmm. not spot motifs. You know, it's it's not that difficult. So if How'd you're you gonna come across it. Well, she released them and she did them for charity at mm, one point, okay. you know. And so when I bought that pattern, a portion of the what I paid went to, what's went that to the specific charity she named. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So I had this idea to do it actually like a book out of a page, mm -hmm. like finish it like a bo open book somehow. Right. right. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I have no idea how to do that. Wow, look at okay. that. That's yeah, mustardy. That's, yeah, <laughs> gingery is what I was going <laughs> to say. But, um, yeah, it's it's not as, it's, it's more brown. Yeah, it looks like Grey Poupon. In real life. So, <laughs> 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 not exactly. But that's HL's Moth by Kathy Barrick. It's uh -huh. a reproduction. It's on 40 count. I'm doing it, but, you know, I just lost interest. And it's not that big either. Again, I'm almost halfway, so... Mm. But all of these pieces are picked. You know, I did get rid of some of them um, when I was going through them. Um, ooh, Blooming Bouquets. Mm. That's by Jeanette Douglas. She's the same designer that did that um, acorn one I had showed you. Right, right. She does really pretty, complicated patterns. That's a nice uh, pair of shears that was in the upper left-hand corner. Mm-hmm. And that? those are all oh, silks okay. right there. I bought the silk pack to go with it. And these are like, this assortment is like the nicest. I don't have any other silks. I right. mean, I have silks I've been collecting just here and there, but I've never gone out and just bought silks for a project. I you did have buy silk. Your hair is made of silk. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> Um, but I'm getting some progress done on that. But there was a mistake I made at the top that I haven't quite. Anyway, I want to do that one. It's nice. It, it's a, it's in a series. There's other, other blooming. Ooh, dimensions kits. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, so I do have a few dimensions kits. So I've grouped mm. them together. So it makes sense. And I like to play around on them. What's great about them is they come with all the materials you need. So you don't have to go hunting for materials and things like that. They Look have that everything. Cat. I know. Who do you think that's supposed to be? <laughs> Look like our Cat Max. And I like this one because it's, it's like a triptych. A cat Max. Yeah. That, oh, sorry. Um, that's what the cat in the pattern is named max the cat oh, that's okay. what the pattern is named but we actually have a gray cat named theodore he's gonna be mad <laughs> <laughs> well he i'm trying to do the top one and i was thinking if i do the top one i might just do that one right i might not do the other ones the top one reminded me of him I, the most i like it i mean you can't so you're not able to do all three i like i mean what i, I like about the three is that it, it highlights their movement you know the way that cats move are just is just unique and the three of them, uh, you know, show that. Yeah, it's cute. And of course, I don't have to stitch it. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it, though. I really do like that one. It's not that hard. It wasn't a Dimensions Gold kit. Because if you remember, there's Dimensions kits, and then there's Dimensions Gold kits, mm -hmm. which will probably be next. Let's see if the next one is going to be um, a Dimensions or Gold kit. Oh, okay. So romantic floral. Mm. I'm telling you, after in my opinion, of all the ones I've opened up, this is one of the hardest gold collection kits they have. Wow. Not only is it pretty big and it's full coverage, it seems to ha it has the most floss by far mm. of any of the projects that I have. And I don't know. I mean, look at that. It's so complicated. There's braiding techniques, I don't, couching. Mm. I mean, there's back stitching. there's blends, there's half stitch, everything. It's a real challenge. Pull if I ever complete out. that, if I ever complete that, I should get a medal. I feel like, because okay. I'm saying it, it's like once I got into it, I was this like, wow, arranged. this is hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in case you're wondering about Dimensions Gold kits, that's probably the one of the hardest. Okay, wow. so this is a regular Dimensions kit. That's nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. I 
probably bought it off Amazon a few years ago. I don't know. I like peacocks. I like butterflies. So wow, it, it looks natural. even nice. Wow, look at that. It's really pretty. I mean, I started in the middle and then I worked up to the corner, and all that right there is gold metallic wow. in the in the top. This fancy. This kit came with more metallic than I have in any other project. It came with a whole separate bundle of just gold metallic that you're supposed <laughs> to use in this design. So, um, it's challenging. Look at those but, wings. Yeah. Spread your wings and fly away. Yeah. I like the blue. I like the green. Mm -hmm. There's something about a hopeful, about a whimsical, happy. Oh, this is going to take forever because I remember... Okay, when I was trying, I was trying to get the threads out to show you the colors because a lot of these colors that are in this kit aren't typical dimensions colors. Right. So they're unique. Um, it's a unique kit because it has a lot of colors that aren't in other dimensions kits. Right. So I had braided them. I don't know if you've seen on Instagram. All DMC? No, no, it's they make their own floss and dye it for their their wow things. So. Um, on Instagram, sometimes people, when they're working on dimensions kits, they come on these long thread cards and they'll braid the floss for a picture or so it'll be nice. And then you're supposed to pull out a piece of floss. So when this whole time when we were sitting here talking, I was I had pulled out the floss so I could show it, which you didn't see, mm -hmm. because I had tried to braid it at one point and oh. it had turned it's turned into this massive tangle and i was sitting wow. there trying to like get it out hair. of the tangle uh, i don't know what it is but it's i'm saying now. i'm not going to be braiding my f dimensions and floss kits anymore wow okay <laughs> Cornrow it. so no something <laughs> okay so this is just some random gold collection petite teacups yeah it's cute I, little birdie it little would make a nice little top. present for some oh, yeah. someone you know oh yeah but it's got some unique modern colors in it too it's one of their newer kits, but mm. 18 count, you know, just a little petite, whatever. <laughs> and then, let's see. <laughs> you get not something grand. And I hope so. Or eat just uh, trying to untangle it. Right. <laughs> oh, this is also a gold collection. It's one of their newest ones. And this, out of all the Dimensions kits I have and the Dimensions gold kits, I think this is the prettiest. I love the bouquet. It's classic Dimensions next to a window. Sometimes they put them next to a window or a, a mirror or something like that. Mm. Um, it's got more modern colors, pink and purple, burgundy, you know, um, as on 18 count. Okay, let's put it the right way, Stephanie. I think it belongs the other way. Yes. <laughs> it's up and down. But um, I started right there in the middle of this bunch of confetti. I should have measured and tried to start in the corner or something like that. Right. But in those, I mean, the kits tell you to start in the you, middle. You jumped into the deep end of the pool. Yes. It was like the most confetti in the whole piece right there. Wow. So, yeah, these are the threads. It's a lot of thread. That's all the black. I mean, it's got a whole separate bundle. Wow. Yeah. But I would like to work on this one um, more than my other Dimensions kits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's more wow. floss. Yeah. All, all, all for this project? Goodness yes. gracious. Yes. Wow. Yep. I'm probably getting out more it's floss. It's multi -dimension. There's more floss. <laughs> Interdimensional. Interdimensional. Okay, so summer bouquet. Yeah, that's a really pretty one. When did you get that one? Do you remember? Um, probably two years ago. I mean, before the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how that, that's like, uh, did we use that <laughs> to stamp the time? It's a signpost, yeah. Was, did, did you do that pre or post pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> And this is my last one. It's also pretty difficult for as far as mm. the, the the petite kits, the little ones. Right. Um, 
everyone says, not everyone, but Luda says, reports no, no, no. that they, yes, when you work on a horse, when you, when you cross stitch a horse, you work like a horse. Wow. <laughs> because they're usually that hard for some reason, especially in dimension kits. What part of it? Well, I started in the middle, and this is like part of the you like starting in the the, middle. the mother's um the mother's what is it called? Not nose. What's it called on a horse? A muzzle, or is that a dog? Muzzle. Yeah, you know, right snout. there, the snout. What? <laughs> the muffler. Trough. Trough. Mouth breathy parts. Yeah. Yes, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've been sitting here for a while doing this voiceover, so it's, who cares? It's phantasmical. Yes. All right. It's I think that was my last dimensions kit. So whatever is going on here, just some more projects. <laughs> well, the dimensions uh, took up a, a good uh, section of it. Yeah. I like them. I got something amazing coming yes it's taking all good things take a long time yes not take a long time but just you gotta wait for them oh, oh my see? houses of hawker and hollow i was oh, just I telling you about this yes <laughs> because we have a hawker and hollow group that meetup that's amazing. just started back meeting and so i have my project on the q snaps ready right. to go i see i see but what's cool about these hawker and hollow pieces these like each house is on a different page so it's almost like a standalone piece you could stitch that one house all you know block it really is what it's called wow. you could stitch it by itself or you can go on and try to finish the rest of the piece you know and every single time you work on a different house you just you it's on a different page it's not like you having to put these pages together in your mind and figure out where they fit together you know right so, that's nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's my... It's a, it's a long-term project because I don't have any plans for it. It's just because we How have... How many people are working on uh, on that together? I, I don't know because, you know, there's a few. There's at least seven or eight, um, if not more, uh, maybe of Hawker and Hawks. Ah. Oh, the Rottweiler. Ooh, is that yes. poignant? Yes, yes. Are we have had Rottweilers and we are getting another Rottweiler. When? <laughs> so when? This week we are getting a puppy. This How week, so I have this project still out, ready to stitch on. Um, just I love. We we love our Rottweiler. <laughs> so um, there you know I can't wait to have a playful little puppy and work on oh, her. Yeah. Um. In honor of I our dog. I can't wait and I can wait at the same time, yeah. if that makes any sense. We're going to be very tired. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun, though. Yes. Okay. I thought I was going to be moving along more quickly at the end, but... Well, it usually happens in the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> You've been really fortunate. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so these are just Skyline. some little hoop projects that are... Um, uh, this is a skyline of Atlanta. Nice. The tallest building is the Bank of America Plaza. Is that? I didn't even know that. Is that a fact? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's very much a fact. Okay, here's another one. These are all done with CXC yet? floss. So that's why they're together is because I'm not using DMC. I'm using it out of my plastic kit of the full set. That that one was a starry night. Mm-hmm. This one I is, that guy. yeah, he's a sloth off a On coffee, a coffee cup. cup. <laughs> mm -hmm. I started him for my birthday, and I want to finish him, but he he's is having some sloffy. <laughs> <laughs> some sloffy. So those are just yeah. See, we're picking up steam now, um, but I keep those together in in a drawer <laughs> in my upstairs. You know what I mean? So. Ooh, this this project is very one. pretty. It uses um, variegated DMC red. It's by two by two stitch art, but that's one over one on thirty two count. Right. And that's a very intricate prog, prog blah, 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 project. So um, I have some sloffy. I don't know. It's homeless right now. It's oh, not no. a UFO, but I I I've kind of moved on from it. But it's gonna be. It would be so pretty. 
I just don't know if I can handle it or not. Ooh, Ooh. this one's for Danielle, and wow, it's a mother. You know, I dyed that fabric myself too. Yeah, I love it. So, um, it's wow. a mother and a baby unicorn. It looks so nice. It's it almost so looks cute. It's, yeah, it's got a lot of blends in it. It's one of those Russian patterns, and um, it's a lot more complicated than it looks. It's mm. not just pink and purple. You know, it's got a lot of like I said, blends. And that was in CXC floss too, so that's why there's no. Um, okay, and this is the 2020 Linens and Threads Mystery Sampler. Mm. And I can't find the threads to it right now. So that's why it's in this home list. I had just put these last little projects that weren't UFOs. I just put them in a bag rescue real quick me, and I was going to pull them out. Yes. So please help me. <laughs> SOS. But it's really pretty. Um, They've finished that. I mean, it was a, the 2020 sampler. I mean, and they released all the parts to it. I'm stuck on April. Uh, and there's like 10, 11, you too, 12 parts. You too. <laughs> <sighs> and this mm -hmm. last one is um, actually my full coverage piece. I have other full coverage pieces start, but I've pretty much given up on it since I started diamond painting. Um, but this one is gridded with that easy grid DMC so you can see the lines are already there. So it does make it way easier than trying to grid myself or do it without grids. Really? I've tried to do without grids. I just can't. Um, I just make too many mistakes. But I think I feel like I could do it. It's with CXC floss. So again, you know, it's just in that bag together. But this Ooh, is my last one. Wow. <laughs> this is my very last the project. I gras. save it for last. I love it. And this is actually a project that came from Hobby Lobby. And um, it's a family tree. Except on if you look on there, they only have room for like three kids. <laughs> so I cut <laughs> the fabric a lot, <laughs> a lot taller. And I was going to extend it up. Aren't those pretty? Oh, yeah. It's by Cooler Design for... Um, and they're fancy Hobby squirrels, Lobby. too. Those are not like squirrels. I know. Here. <laughs> Those are the fancy squirrels. So I thought it'd be so cool. To see, see, the quote says, When we have reached that distant shore, or life's rough ocean driven, there we shall meet and be once more a family in heaven. Wow, I love that a lot. Yeah, that's wow. nice. So even when we have people... That would people, look amazing up there. Yeah, it would look, if I could just finish it, because you know that pattern, you know that pattern about, is like, really hard. Thing. They're really, oh, really so hard cool. to read. But that was all my projects. I like We're that. running out of time. That we got to move fast. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. Wow. It was so much fun to do that with you. Cool and I can't wait to see um, the progress that I get to make on them this year. Mm -hmm.